we all have someone or maybe something that has been a big influence on us somehow or some way. I mean, this person is my best friend, partner in crime, and most of all, my girlfriend. I was drawn to her because of her potential, and I can tell that she'd been through a lot. She had the look of someone vulnerable, and vulnerable she was. Ricky looked as if she needed to tell someone about the things that she went through and the things that she overcame that someone was going to be me. Ricky is a very deep thinker. She always has to have a reason or explanation for why something happened or why she thought of it. She says things just how they are and never sugarcoats anything. It has shaped her into the person she is today. Ricky is, Ricky was at a time in her life where she kept all of her emotions bottled up and didn't talk to anyone. These emotions were built up so bad to where she would just die inside. As her emotions built up, they were eventually led to her depression and her self-harming. Harming herself wasn't enough for her. So she began to take prescription drugs, smoke marijuana, and drink alcohol. These bad habits led up to a drug overdose, where she was soon sent to a mental hospital she spent quite some time in there trying to gather herself and become a better person. When she was released, she had a brand new mentality and was outspoken on life and had a new way of dealing with her emotions. You can call her past trouble, or you can say she was a rebellious teen, but it was just much more than that. Ricky is only 16, but because of her experiences, she has matured drastically. I call her past a journey to success. Her past gave her a chance to change and grow into the most emotionally intelligent person I know. A lot of pain and sorrow, self-hatred, crying herself to sleep, and near-death experiences had to happen for her to become the person she is today. I adore the way she looks at life. Ricky looks at it as, as if there is no reason to regret it and to make the most out of it. And that everyone makes mistakes, but it is how they learn from those mistakes. She inspires me to love life. Ricky tells me to always speak my mind, to how I feel, and to never bottle anything up. She motivates me to always keep trying and to never stop to always cherish my life and never take it for granted. Ricky is the most influential person I know. I'm lucky that she just so happens to be my teacher and my girlfriend. If she can do it, I can do it. And hey, maybe whoever influences you. If you just think about it, if they can do it, you can do it.